Okay, let's solve this problem 12129. In this problem, it is said that the car starts from rest at s equals to 0. So this means that v naught is equal to 0 at s equals to 0 and increases its speeds at this rate, right? So the tangential acceleration is given, right? So this is 4 meter per second square and this tangential acceleration is equal to v dot, right? And it is said that determine the time when the magnitude of the acceleration becomes 20 meter per second square, right? So when the magnitude of the acceleration is 20 meter per second, we need to determine the time, right? And it is said that at what position s does this occur, right? So we have to find the position s at which the acceleration becomes, the acceleration magnitude becomes 20 meter per second square and we have to find the time as well at this particular instant right so we have to find the time and s now since we are given this acceleration magnitude so the acceleration magnitude as we know is equal to a t square plus a n square under the root a t is given right so a t is 4 so this is 4 square and this is v square divided by rho under the root right or we can first say that this is a n square right this is 4 and this is 20 so when we solve this so this will be 20 square minus 4 square equals to a n and a n equals to 19.59 meter per second square and we can write that the normal acceleration is equal to v square divided by rho and this is 19.59 so velocity will be equal to 19.59 multiplied by rho and this rho is given which is 40 and we will take the square root as well right so from this velocity equals to 28 meter per second right so when the magnitude of the acceleration is equal to 20 meter per second square the car is moving with this much velocity this is 28 meter per second right and now since we know that the tangential acceleration equals to v dot equals to 4 meter per second square so we can write that this is dv by dt and this is equal to 4 so we can write that dv is equal to 4 dt and we can integrate this from initial velocity so initial velocity is 0 until final velocity and this will be from 0 to t right so this will give us v minus 0 so this will be v and this will be 4 t from 0 to t so that will be 4 t right so the time at which the velocity will be 28 meter per second will be equal to so this will be v divided by 4 so v is 28 divided by 4 so t equals to 7.00 seconds right so it the car will take 7 seconds to get the acceleration magnitude equals to 20 meter per second square and the velocity equals to 28 meter per second right and this problem it is also said that at what position s does this occur so we have to find the position of the car as well right so we can use this equation so we can write that v is equal to 4t so we can write that this is ds by dt or we can write that this is 4t dt so again we will integrate this so we will integrate this from 0 to s and this will be from 0 to t right so s will be equal to 4 t square divided by 2 from 0 to t so we will get 2 t square right and now we can find this position s of the car since we know the time value at that particular instant so s will be equal to 2 into 7 square so 2 into 49 is equal to 98 meters